In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can hook the audience. Having a great hook in your short form content is so important right now because people have the attention span of a goldfish. First off, hi, my name is Luke. I've helped create multiple viral videos for me and my clients, generating over 20 million views. So let's get straight into the video. So what is a hook? A hook is the first line of the video to get people initially engaged. In today's day and age, if you do not have an engaging hook, people are just going to scroll right off your video. So with hooks, before I tell you what to do, I want to tell you what not to do. So when you're creating short form content, you do not want to be delaying the video. You do not want to have a sentence like, hey guys, my name is Jonathan. and This is what we're doing today. That's just going to be boring and people aren't going to be engaged with the video. So you want to have an engaging statement and get straight into the video. So one way you can create an engaging hook is by calling out your audience's problems. This works especially well for business owners because you're qualifying who's watching the video. For example, if you're a fitness coach, you could say something like, are you struggling to lose weight? Then everybody who's struggling to lose weight is gonna listen to the video. The second thing you could do with hooks is having negative hooks. So it's no surprise that in today's day and age, negativity sticks out more than positivity. I mean, just look at the news. So instead of saying you will be more successful in losing weight if you do this, you could say you will never lose weight if you don't do these three things I'm about to tell you. It just creates a more emotional response in people. Again, getting them more engaged. So the next thing would be challenge and storytelling hooks. These are always a great one to do if you're going into a story or doing some type of challenge. These videos always seem to do quite well and it would look something like I tried to do a thousand push-ups in one hour and this is what it looked like. Again, not giving away the punchline, not seeing if you failed or succeeded, but just stating the challenge that you're doing and getting into a story. The next aspect of hooks that will make your hooks more successful is movement in the video. So as you saw at the start of this video here, there was a zoom out at the start when I started speaking. And this ties into the next thing that I'm gonna talk about, which is pattern interrupts. Pattern interrupts are a change in the video to re-engage the viewer. But you can also use these at the very start of the video to initially engage the viewer. Like the zoom out that I done, you could be panning up with your phone, you could add in an emoji, a sound effect works quite well there. Just something that so when people are scrolling and your video pops up, there's something that pops out and gets their attention. The next part about hooks, and this one is pretty crucial for your whole video, is anticipation. You do not want to give the punchline of the video away in the first couple of seconds. This was a mistake that I made in past videos. One hook I used is, I tried to start a business when I was 16 years old and it failed. With that hook, it would have been 10 times better and the video would have done 10 times better if I didn't give away the punchline and say it failed. I should have said something like, when I was 16, I tried to start up a business and this is how it went. Not giving away that punchline and people will watch further into the video to see how it does. The next thing with hooks that you can use is adding in trending topics or controversy or celebrities or events, something that people know if they don't know you. So a lot of people with for you pages and new trending pages and, and things like that, they won't know you when they first see your video. Most people seeing your video are gonna be strangers. So what you could do is put something in the hook that they already know and that they're familiar with. Maybe saying something like, Logan Paul just done this, or this is why you should not follow the Kardashians. People are gonna get engaged in that because they already know those people. And mixing that with a negative hook will get people even more riled up. So that's a small bit about hooks and how you can actually engage your audience better in those first couple of seconds of your short form content. Now, if you do wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, there will be a link down below in the description. Otherwise, subscribe for more content coming out like this. I'm gonna give away an insane amount of value. So check out my past videos and let me know what you think.